Welcome. Let me give you a little overview of what we're going to try to accomplish in this section here. Where we've gotten so far is our central organizing concept, price equals expected discounted payoff. Uh, we got there by thinking about payoffs, a, a random thing that might happen tomorrow, say, you know, one, two, or three dollars with associated probabilities. We thought about an investor with a utility function, and we realized that investor would, would value this payoff by our grand formula price equals expected discounted payoff. That's the general version of it. Uh, as a warning, I sometimes leave the T's off when you're supposed to know where they go. Uh, we looked at that in terms of utility functions, so the discount factor was this ratio of marginal utilities. And uh, we used an example power utility, which we'll keep using throughout. It's not the most general utility function, but it, it's a very handy one to work things out and see how they work. That's where we got. Our basic concept of valuation here was willingness to pay. We worked out what an investor with this utility function and that consumption would be willing to pay for a marginal little bit of the asset. And that was our concept of valuation. What are we going to do today? We're going to do basically all of the big concepts in the theory of finance that we'll do throughout the course. Today's sort of a preview version of that. Um, <clears throat> first thing we have to do is, is meet the players. Returns, excess returns, present values, and how do you state this in continuous time? It's just restatement of the same ideas with the kinds of concepts like returns that you've seen in our facts day uh, that people in finance use. Um, Thom and French looked at expected returns, for example. We have to think about returns. Then once we've met, once we've recast these ideas with those, uh, with those players, we'll look through the classic results in, in the, the language of finance, if you'd like. We'll look at where interest rates come from. Uh, we'll look at risk premiums, and we'll discover that covariance matters. The variance of an asset doesn't matter. It's the covariance that really matters. We'll look at expected return and beta representations, like the Fama French paper that we looked at uh, previously. We'll learn about the mean variance frontier and all of its magic properties. We'll look at random walks and efficient markets, um, and, and that set of thoughts about the time series evolution of asset pricing. And we'll think about general equilibrium. How does this uh, sit as part of a larger economic ma uh, model? And the question of causality, which is the chicken and which is the egg. Ready to go? Here we go. Mm -hmm.